What's this? What are you, what are you doing right now? Are you trying to sabotage my video? Get the fuck out of here. Mic check one, two. Testies, testies. Okay. Oh shit, I need to frickin' moisten my beauty blender. Hi, hello. Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome to my channel. I feel the need to show y'all my sweater because Girl Scout made this and basically this is me in a nutshell. She makes really cute little stuff. I will leave the link in the description box ugh, to her Instagram. You can check it out. Today's video, I just like thought it would be a fun idea to grab the first product that starts with the like a letter and I just came up with a letter S and use that and create a full face of makeup. Do a little chit chat, get ready with me. This could be really interesting and fun, or this could be really dumb. Whichever it ends up being, thanks for being here and watching. We're gonna, we're gonna experience this together. So I grabbed some things right here. A lot of this, wow. That's my life in a nutshell. I'm scared to open this. It survived. A lot of these are brand new products like this. Oh. We'll, ch we'll check it out. I think I pretty much got everything covered. The only thing that I can't find S in is brow stuff and mascara. We are gonna start with the eyes though. So I'm gonna be using the brand new Morphe 39S palette. And you might be saying that does not start with an S, but it does actually. It's called Such a Gem. I just got this in the mail. As you can see, I've stuck my fingers all up in, that sounds so dirty. I stuck my fingers in all the shades like, oh, things are backwards on the monitor. Okay, right here. And I just don't know what to do with this because there's so many options. One great thing I like about Morphe palettes is when you flip it like that on your desk, it sits like that and you can just go right into it like a little paint palette. I don't have any concealers that start with the letter S, so we're just gonna go in with this Morphe one. I do have a Morphe code like everyone else and their mother. If you would like to save, it'll save you 10% on your order online or in the store. Oh, this beauty blender is like cold. It feels like so good on my eyeball right now. Oh my gosh, this is so difficult. There's so many good shades in here. They're all speaking to my life and I just don't know what to do. Mmm. Oh, I love that, but I also love that. Mmm. Oh, fuck. Mmm. Oh God, that's really pretty though too. Maybe with like a purple. I don't know. Mmm. These are just all like so freaking pretty. It's so good to have it. Love this palette. Ugh, I should probably just go get myself an espresso while I think about it. <laughs> okay, all right, figure it out. I'm gonna be using uh, these right here, I think. I might use a tidbit of that. So I'm not gonna powder my eyes, I'm just gonna go right in. So I'm gonna be going in with, I'm gonna go in with this guy. So this guy has some little purple flecks in it, which are really pretty. I'm gonna do like maybe like a little halo kind of eye thing. I am going to go out on a limb and say that this is probably gonna stain my eyelid along with some of these other bright shades. Gosh, this mirror is so dirty. Like, does anybody care about you? I'm gonna go with this guy right here. Nice. Honestly, like I feel like I should have started with this one and then put the shimmer over this because you know, some shades just work like that. So I'm just gonna go over this. Jesus, take the wheel. Wow, that's some freaking pigmentation, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so I literally just worked on this blending for like 15 fucking minutes. Like I, sometimes when I'm getting ready, I'll do my makeup and I'm so used to seeing like YouTube tutorials and Instagram videos, probably like you guys are. And I'll sit down and try to do my makeup real quick. And some people are just faster at makeup in general, but, and then I'll try and do it like really fast and I get frustrated because it doesn't look that great when I try and do it super fast. And then I'll just be like, what the hell? And then I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, you know what? When Nikki tutorials and all these people really do their makeup like good. And when I do my makeup good and I like take my time, it takes a while. Like it actually takes a lot of time to blend. Like when you think you're done blending, blend some more. No, I want s'mores, jeez. Okay, so now um, I'm gonna go in with this guy right here. That is so pretty. And I'm going to, oh, 
I might die is what I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna pop this right in the center and then I'll worry about blending it out. This might match. This is one of the first things I grabbed uh, with the letter S too. This is Studio. This is a brand new heavy metal glitter by Urban Decay. I actually grabbed two of them from the same collection because they both started with the letter S. And I am going to put a little bit of this in here for some extra glitter. I was so freaking excited when Urban Decay, when I saw that they were um, doing more heavy metal glitters. I'm so excited to try that one. I just like love heavy metal glitter. It's basically my life. <laughs> so, okay, that took like 700 years. Okay, for moisturizer for my face, I'm gonna be using the Dermalogica Sound Sleep Cocoon Moisturizer. This is not a new product. I just wasted like $25 worth of product on my desk. <laughs> Uh, this smells like essential oils. Like this is really nice for if you have a headache. I ordered a bunch of like Amazon like yoga stuff because I want like workout gear because I want to do a, a, like a test run on all of it for you guys. Like the cheap stuff on Amazon. That'll be fun. It's like getting delivered right now. So I'm going to use the Photo Finish Serene Greens. That starts with an S. Um, primer water. Uh, typically, I like something that fills in my pores a little bit more, but what we got today. Then I'm gonna go in with the Jouer Essential High Coverage Cream Foundation, and this was in the shade Sand. So, oh cool, I don't have a palette. <laughs> Wonderful. Oh, oh, this is so watery. Do you hear that? Ew, look at this. Okay. Supposedly that, whoa. <laughs> it reminds me of the, uh, the Wet n Wilds. Is that the Photo Focus foundation that kind of smells like paint, but works really well? Um, kind of reminds me of that a little bit. Okay, this is extremely full coverage. <laughs> All right, I don't, I don't know about this foundation. Um, it's very runny. It's pretty good coverage. It's just like, I don't know. It feels a little, like oily, like the way it's kind of settling around my <clears throat> nose rings and stuff feels a little like weird. Okay, I guess we'll see how that kind of dries down. Um, I'm gonna fan this off for a hot sec. Okay, I literally just disappeared for like 30 minutes because I just put a video live. We are back, I have some espresso, we're good to go. So I did my eyebrows off camera um, and I'm gonna be using Colab, which is a brand that is exclusively at Sally Beauty. I actually think that they own it. And this is called Set the Stage, see the S there? Uh, soft focus, soft, I like forgot to speak for a second. Soft focus, we're just gonna, we're gonna put this on. I just realized that most of my makeup like that I usually use for like my eyebrows and stuff are like still packed in my suitcase from going to Nashville, which is annoying because when you get like real into using certain products, like for your eyebrows, I find anyway, it's like really hard to like switch to something else. Like I always almost have to like relearn how the frick to do my brows. I like this powder. Nice. So uh, Ryan and I and a couple of our friends, we went to Nashville to kind of scope out some different areas. We had such a good time. I like, like Nashville got even better since I was there last and it's actually gotten more expensive since I started looking at houses there. I did do a thing today. <laughs> and if you follow me on Instagram stories and watch those with your sound on, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't, sorry, you're gonna have to wait for the video. But. I did a thing and I did a thing and I might be moving there way sooner than I thought. Okay, I'm gonna finish the lower lash line. We're gonna take our light shade here that we put in the center. I'm gonna put that right here. Probably be better, honestly, if my brush was like moist cause it's kind of flying everywhere. Oh, didn't mean to drag that down that far, but I guess that's what we're doing. Then the first liner that I grabbed that started with an S, it's not really a shade that I wanna use with this, but 
you know, uh, let the chips fall where they may. This is Sunrise Blue Slide On Glide On and Stay On and definitely a turn on. That's just way too long, waterproof. Okay. The problem I have with this liner and one of, where is my sharpener? And one of the reasons why I typically don't go for this liner is it really does stay on well. So if you're trying to smoke it out in a lash line, which I'm typically trying to do or move it around in some way, unless it's totally only in my waterline, which like never happens, this just doesn't move around much. So it doesn't give you much time to like move it around and play. Um, I don't really know what I'm doing, but I think I'm gonna take a little bit of this one. Jeez. It's like an indigo almost. And just work that into our liner. Now, I'm gonna take this one right here, which I feel like it's kind of like a mix between our blue and the pink. And I'm going to put that right here in the inner corner. And we're gonna go back to our heavy metal glitter and I'm gonna put a little bit of that in the corner too. And underneath the eyes. I can't look at my face anymore, <sighs> not contoured. So the first one that I grabbed with the letter S, which is crazy because I actually like, this is the first thing I grabbed, is the Too Faced Sun Bunny Natural Bronzer. So I'm just gonna kind of swirl the two together and um, hope for the best because it looks a little dark for me right now. This brush, I just have to give a little shout out to because it is awesome for contouring. This is the Sigma Soft Angled, what was it I already forgot. I can't remember anything, I would suck as an actress. Soft Angled Contour. This just like, I don't know, you can see how quickly that just like works it in and it's like the perfect amount of density to just get the product in there without creating like harsh lines. Little schnoz contouring with the lighter of the two shades. Then taking this giant brush, I'm just gonna kind of buff this out just to make sure that it's all blended well. I'm gonna be using this. This is a brand new blush from Ofra and Talia Mar. Uh, she's an awesome chick that I met a while ago with Ofra in Florida. So this shade is Soho and it looks like this. It's like a really nice like pinkish Gold. Let me see here. This looks really similar to another one I have by them. Hang on. So it's really close to Rodeo Drive. I mean, how many shades can you actually have highlighter in? Um, don't ask Jeffree Star that question because he has made highlighter in every shade and done very well with it. Um, this one has slightly more of a pinkish cast, if you can see right there. I mean, if you just are into, you know, collecting highlighters and maybe you want it. Ooh, yeah. So this looks like it'll work for lighter skin tones as well as darker and deeper. I do have an Ofra code too, which I'll put on the screen should you want to grab any Ofra products. Um, they have some really great skincare too. It's like so cold. <laughs> For blush, we're gonna be using Buxom. I don't think the shade necessarily goes with this super well. This is the first one that I grabbed with the letter S. This is Seychelles. It's in the Wonderless Primer Infused Blush. I absolutely love this stuff. We're just gonna go for it. That's actually okay. Okay, for lashes, oh, God dang it. Jordy, who goes by It's Likely Makeup, is one of my good friends and she has uh, her lash line and uh, I just got these in the mail and this one is called Sleepy Starlet and this is the first time I'm opening it. Oh, those are pretty. So they look like this. Really pretty and really cute packaging. Why am I blowing on my, I just started blowing on my tweezers rather than my lashes but like, <laughs> Okay, got these bad boys on. These are really pretty. For lips, what I pulled out first, um, this is brand new from the Urban Decay Clash. Oh my gosh, the packaging matches the eyes. <gasps> That's so good. So this is Hi-Fi Shine Ultra Cushion Lip Gloss. I expected this to be a little more like opaque, but it is just really this pretty kind of 
translucent-y shade. This is Star Stunner, so we got a double S. I did get a lip liner that starts with the letter S as well. This is NYX Cosmetics Slide On, Glide On, Stay On, and definitely a turn on waterproof extreme color lip liner. That is the longest name ever. Um, and this is in Sugar Glass. Line my lips and fill them in with this and then we'll put the gloss over top. Oh, it smells like a mint chocolate chip. And my lips are officially on fire. I think this like, it's supposed to feel like plumping, you know? Okay, popped my little wig on. I don't have any of that got to be stuff to lay down the front here. So I just used some eyelash glue right here. It's a little, it's a little messy, but we'll let it be. Um, I got my Arctic Fox uh, human hair wig on, you know? Uh, I did not feel like doing my hair. So popped this bad boy on. Here is the finished look. I feel pretty blessed that I got the, almost the right foundation shade by going off of the letter S, I'm actually kind of shocked. I just grabbed this out of my office, so there are actually tons of shades in there. It's not just shades that usually work with my skin tone. So that got lucky, because that could have gone south real quick. And everything else, I'm like shocked that it turned out this decent. So um, hopefully this was fun for you guys. Let me know who you're tagging to do this and let them know. Usually Twitter is the best way to get a hold of people or you can just tag them below or write their name below or tag them on Instagram, whatever you wanna do. I would love to see some other you know, YouTubers recreate this kind of fun video idea. There's gonna be some train wrecks out there. I just know it. We just got really lucky and I don't know how. And since you waited until the very end and you are still here watching this video, I have an awesome giveaway for you. I didn't wanna mention it in the beginning because I wanted this giveaway to be for those of you that actually watch my videos fully to the end. And so this is a thank you to you. I got double of these in the mail, so I was like, I'm gonna give one of these away. So I'm gonna give away the entire ColourPop Disney Villains the collection here. It is, hang on, this is like really big. Ooh. Okay, so looks like this, ta-da. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually not going to ship the this box because it is so heavy. So I'm gonna pull all the items out of here and this is going to be for US only just because of the shipping costs on this. It's going to just, and also I just don't want it to get lost in the mail. So I'm so sorry, but this, this one will be US only. So if you want to enter to win this, all you're gonna do is be subscribed to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up and make sure you include your Instagram handle below. It can be separate from uh, your original comment if you already left a comment. But um, I will be giving this away and announcing the winner five days from the date that this video goes live. So I will be announcing um, in the comments here and I will also DM you on your Instagram and I will probably most likely put it up on my Instagram story as well. So good luck to you. I hope that um, this goes to somebody who's been really wanting it. Oh, that's really heavy. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. We will see you in the next video and have an amazing day. Yes, have an amazing day.